If you're in the market trying to buy a new television, people like Joelster G4K and even FOMO and all these other upcoming influencers and tech enthusiasts make it really hard because they misinform you and that's because they're inexperienced everyday people just being passionate about their hobby, taking it to the internet. You think they're some sort of expert because after a while they gain followers because people identify with them, which is great and all, but at the same token, they couldn't be more wrong. Today I'm going to show you some things to maybe give you a little better understanding of the Hisense UAG and what it does and does not do with HDR gaming, VRR, and kind of round out your gaming experience as a whole. So let's dive into it. Okay, so when we talk about HDR, it's important to understand it's incredibly demanding when you're adding in VRR. So the problem that Joelister G4K brought to everyone's attention is that when you use HDR game mode, your backlight doesn't work, local dimming's off, oh my god, it's the end of the world. Okay, so what happens then when you turn off FreeSync? Oh my god, it's the end of the world because guess what? We don't have local dimming on. The sky is falling, right? The sky is falling, local dimming doesn't work. What Joelister was too inexperienced to know is that, this is basic by the way, but he was too inexperienced to know that if you turn off VRR, you need to disable it from the console as well. Because if you go and leave VRR ticked, it's still gonna think you have VRR because you're telling the console to output VRR. So when you go into your console and you disable variable refresh rate, local dimming will open back up when you go back into your game. So then we go back into our game and you guys can see down here, we have advanced settings, we have free sync off, we're in HDR game mode, we go in our backlight and it's there. It absolutely works. So again, it's all about understanding how technology works. If you turn something off, disable it from the console so it doesn't auto do things because the big thing with Xbox consoles, they're all about automation. They like to automatically make things work like ALLM. So you have to understand that part of it first. But if you're just somebody who's passionate about your hobby, taking to the internet and making YouTube videos, it's very easy to get this very, very wrong like Joelster G4K did. Now the reason I'm coming down hard on Joelster G4K is because he dissuaded a lot of people. I had a lot of people within that hour of him making that video come onto my channel and ask my opinion about it. To which I just put out a video saying he was wrong. It does work. Local dimming does work in game mode. To which people retorted back you didn't show the HDR. This isn't an apples to apples comparison because you're not using PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. This proves that the average everyday person really has no idea what next generation console truly even does or mean. Because they think that connection issues based off of having settings incorrectly tuned on your Xbox or at the console level mean it's the TV's fault. And automatically we need a damage control for a guy who's wrong. And this is the kind of ignorance I'm trying to end in the AV community. Because if you understand what I just showed, you can see that again, HDR game mode, you can get all the stuff you're trying to get. You can get local dimming. You just got to turn it off when you turn it off. It's kind of common sense, but apparently not. Now, let's say you don't want to do that. Let's say you still want VRR, but maybe you play something a little bit more casual. Did you know that you can still have your cake and eat it too, kind of? Because you have to understand that, again, variable refresh rate is very demanding on consoles. It's very demanding on hardware in general. Now, with that as a concept, now we have a couple of different options. We can be creative. I always talk about being creative on this channel, but few people actually take me up on that, okay? Being creative is your best ally because let's say now we've turned on VRR at the console level. We go on our TV and make sure we turn on VRR, which is free sync in this case, okay? So now we're all VRR'd up, but then, oh no, our local dimming's gonna disable. Did you know that if you, you're willing to compromise, you can actually have HDR and VRR by just switching to another mode. Because here you go, your local dimming isn't grayed out anymore. This is because you're not overstressing the processor, tacking on HDR, tacking on VRR, and demanding it give you the most responsive input lag, which counteractively turns off everything. You're asking the TV to defeat all extra processing so you can have the most responsive input lag. But when you start tacking on things like HDR and VRR, it gets incredibly demanding. 
This has nothing to do with Xbox Series X versus Xbox One or any other last gen or new gen. This is common sense stuff right now. And a lot of people are getting it so very wrong because again, they wanna go and back their buddy, somebody who's, you know, Joe the Plumber on TV reviews. And that's great, if you, if you wanna do that, do that. But don't be surprised when you find results like this. Because again, if you go into your TV and you tell it, hey, I no longer want FreeSync, turn off. But you don't think to go to your console and tell it, hmm, there's a feature I don't want on. Let's go and turn that off. It's, it's gonna keep your stuff grayed out as you guys saw. So make sure you go to the console level, right? You go display, you go over to, uh, to the video options that you have and you turn that stuff off. I, I can't tell you, I honestly really can't tell you how many people were coming at me a type of way because they did not understand this. And Joelster G4K, the reason I don't like him is because he's got a mouth on him. He has no experience, but he's confident for no reason. He's an average everyday Joe with zero experience professionally about how image works, how to hook things up. And he comes at it with this aggression like, I'm a drama king. I'm somebody that always starts drama. Let me be very clear. The only reason I called out Joelister G4K is because my subscribers asked me to respond to him. I don't care about him. He's literally nobody. I mean, literally nobody to me, okay? At the end of the day, I only care about what my community is concerned with. And if there's something they bring to my attention, I then bring it forth back to the community that I'm running here. And that's just how it's always worked. Now, again, we're talking about only Xbox, but then some people tried to claim, oh, but then counteractively, the same thing holds true in PlayStation. No, it doesn't. And I'll show you that now. I'll go over to my PlayStation 4 Pro. And you guys can see, as I turn back on my controller, I've got Miles Morales up. I've got it at the home screen here, right? We're in HDR, as you guys see right here, HDR standard. We can go to HDR game mode, right? Then we go down and we go to VRR. FreeSync is already enabled. And as you guys can see, local dimming does work and it can be changed. This means that any one of you who have been screwed over by scalpers and bots and don't have the ability to buy a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and have to play the old stuff will still have all this stuff in game mode, which means he grossly misled you. Because again, there's nothing to check off at the console level on PS5, right? Or, or PS4. So you have all that stuff here. You can still use your FreeSync if you choose to. You can still have HDR and game mode if you choose to. And if you do enable it, and you decide against it later on, just make sure you do it at both the TV and the console level. That's literally common sense. It's basically like when you go to HDMI, dynamic range, you see how it says auto? I don't ever do that. I manually set it to full or limited depending on what I want, and then I do it at my source box level as well. This is that level of stupid basic. But again, Jellister G4K is an amateur. He is somebody who literally has no experience and he's trying to pass himself off as somebody capable of giving you an opinion. If you want the truth, people like FOMO and Joelster G4K and a lot of these newer guys like Be The Installer are everyday regular people. They do not have a technical background outside of what? Maybe wall mounting TVs, which is something you probably dabbled in yourself. These people are not actual professionals. You should never be taking what they're saying as a professional expert opinion. They are guys that really like TVs that are giving you opinions. It's nothing more than a bro talking to another bro. When I speak, I'm speaking from a scientific perspective of understanding luminosity, of understanding delta arrow points, of understanding, again, how you color grade, how you photo correct image quality on a massive level. I could go into it, all it's really gonna do is make me sound like um, I'm grandstanding or I'm pompous, but frankly, at this point, I really don't care because this is the kind of stuff that we should never be running into and it's frustrating for me. Because then, imagine knowing my, my, my little thing here, what I just went into, knowing all of this, and you have people chiming back, but you didn't show the new Xbox. Yeah, I'm aware I didn't. You, you know you don't have to show the new Xbox to run into the same problem because Xbox fundamentally is the same. You say that to people and they go, it's very different. And the fact that you don't know that means you're inexperienced. These are the motherfuckers out there we need to fix. The people who literally don't test, don't understand, and want to start chiming off in comment sections. Now again, haters are gonna hate. 
I already get it. Many of you already say that. If you're going to say it, save it. I already know that. But at the end of the day, you need to understand that when somebody's wrong, they're wrong. When somebody's wrong, they need to be called out for it so they can fix it or own it. And at the end of the fucking day, if somebody like Joelster G4K, who I already have a history with because he's mouthy as fuck and he always has something to say negative about me calling out everybody for being wrong all the goddamn time. Like, for example, you guys want to know why I'm taking a shot at FOMO right now? FOMO's the guy literally telling you that color is so disgusting on the Hisense when using gaming. And that's not true. Like, at all. He's doing stuff to augment results because in game mode, and every aspect of gaming I've tested has been just as vibrant as my Samsung QLED, which I proved in like my last video. But again, people trust these losers and it pisses me off because don't put disrespect on the name of a guy that knows his shit and then go to a guy that doesn't know what he's talking about and then clap for him and then literally come back at me and make me do these long, stupidly pointless videos because all of this is common sense if you understand what you're talking about. And if you're not sure, you need to ask somebody that does. Because to put up a video like he did dissuades people, it hurts people, and it makes people walk away from products they would have purchased. So again, I just put the information out there, hard facts, I did a deep dive and explained how it happens, why it happens, and when it happens. Don't expect everything, guys. There is no such thing as a perfect TV. You want a cheap price, an affordable price, you want to use HDR, you want to use the most responsive input lag, and you want VRR, you're asking for a bit much at this point in technology evolution considering PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are still very new and the vast majority of you watching this video don't have it. And at the end of the day, the vast majority of users are probably just gonna use the regular HDR mode without, or the HDR game mode without any VRR anyway. And with that as the case, I'm telling you right now, my dudes, you're going to be sitting here with local dimming that you can adjust. Especially when you consider the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, when you snap into VRR mode, you lose graphical quality substantially. And not everybody's gonna want that all the time. Some people might want the most beautiful representation of their graphic quality that they paid for versus just having 120 FPS, which really, in all honesty, is like 117 to 119 FPS fluctuating. And you're basically playing at like a 1080p to 1440p resolution. So, yeah.